In this short lecture, we are going to look at why it is so important to distinguish between an offer on the one hand and an invitation to treat, that is an invitation to make an offer on the other hand. So if you recall, we've already looked at this example where a product is displayed in a shop window and I did explain already that if I were to ask you whether or not the shopkeeper is going to be bound to sell that product to anyone who gives the amount that is stated on the price tag and we have also already looked at the fact that the answer is a big no why because this does not amount to an offer and this is because as per the definition of an offer the key ingredient that is the intention is lacking on the part of the shopkeeper to consider that as an offer that is he's simply displaying the goods putting the goods on display in a shop window is not considered as an offer in short instead a display of goods simply counts as an invitation to treat that is an invitation to the customers to make an offer to the shopkeeper so that the shopkeeper can then either accept or refuse to sell the product to them now as promised in earlier videos we are now going to look at the reason behind this distinction that is why it is so important to differentiate between these two concepts um, and also remember that it's always much easier to remember rules instead of just memorizing them if you look at the reasons behind them and try to understand the logic so the simple reason is first and foremost of limited supply why because like i've mentioned earlier it is highly likely that the shopkeeper does not have hundreds of the same item and if for example two or more people ask for the same item at the same time then in this kind of a situation the shopkeeper is going to be in a very difficult uh, situation why because he will have only one item and that one item if we consider the display of that item as an offer then the shopkeeper has to be bound by the fact that anyone who presents the relevant amount of money to him he has to sell that product to that person right away and obviously he can't do so if he has only one of those items and two or more people are asking for that same item at the same time so to avoid these kinds of situations that is where there is obviously probably a limited supply we have considered the law basically has decided to create this distinction that display of goods is always going to be considered as an invitation to treat and not as an offer to sell those products which can simply be accepted by any customer throwing that amount of money in the face of the shopkeeper so the next reason is that there are certain items which cannot be sold right away anyways even if for example you're the first person and the only person to enter a shop and ask for it or for example even if the product is not in limited supply and the shopkeeper has hundreds of those items but take a, for example a weapon for example a gun and if you want to buy a gun you usually in most countries you'd have to possess a license in order to purchase such an item and once again imagine that if the law had considered any display of goods as an offer that is capable of being accepted simply by the other person presenting that amount of money then once again how is the shopkeeper going to be able to refuse to sell the product to anyone who presents that amount of money and the same applies to most medicines that is most drugs cannot be bought without a prescription from a doctor so with these examples you can hopefully see why the distinction is so important